Hey guys, it's uh, Tell with Oshawa Bushcraft. Uh, I recently picked up a, would it be a Woodland Alice butt pack for another project. I was gonna piggyback this on top of my Alice pack. And since I picked this bag up, I am really impressed with this thing. And I wanted to show you guys, anybody who maybe hasn't seen one of these before, this is a really cool piece of kit. Um, the idea of this, I've got all sorts of stuff attached to this, but you don't need this. The idea was this would sit on a soldier's web gear above his butt. This would be attached to his belt, and these would attach to the suspenders, the, the Y-strap that would hold your webbing up. Uh, these have been out of service for a while. The Canadian Army issues a similar set of web gear, but it doesn't have all the cool attachment points on it. This one does. So along with that, we have two sections of Alice webbing on both sides. Right now you can see I've got two mag pouches on one side, and I've got a canteen carrier on the other side, just as an example of what you can put on here. Now. The top straps, just like the top flap on an Alice pack, uh, are adjustable and have extra room in them. They're not actually sewn right down to this strap, so you can stow extra stuff on here. Right now I have my little uh, fishing chair because I'm headed fishing, but uh, there's still a lot of extra strapping on there. I bet you could fit a full-size wool blanket on here. The bottom straps do the same thing. They're not tied down, so you could fit a load in on the bottom. This is a huge tarp. I think this is 12 by 20 poly tarp that I wouldn't normally carry, it's a little bigger than I need, but you could build a huge overhead or a huge A-frame for it with this. And the inside of this pack, there's no uh, attachments or anything special, there's just a drawstring at the top, and there's no little pouches inside it, but I bet you could fit a full-size wool blanket in there, just to give you an idea of the size. You could definitely fit a 10-piece kit in this, no problem. Um, you can see I added a, a pericord uh, carry handle just for moving it around camp. Uh, you could mount a a shoulder strap, I'd probably recommend going off of the Alice straps. And uh, it has these suspender attachments at the back. Now what I've been using this for is I put two carabiners on it and I've been tying them to the shoulder straps on my Alice pack so that it hangs over the flap on the back. But you have all sorts of mounting options. I know guys have taken the, the top flap straps on the Alice pack and run them through here. Uh, if you had your pack loaded up big enough and the upper band of Alice webbing was available, you could use these clips to mount it there you could mount it in front of your uh, uh, MMS carrier at the bottom of the pack. You could mount it there somehow. And I think this thing's modular. It's got all sorts of attachment points on it. You could strap gear above and below. Uh, I think this is a really cool, cool piece of kit. I have another project lined up for this that you're going to see down the road. I'm going to get to. So that's it. I wanted to share this with you guys. You know, I paid $13 for this in Canada. I'm sure somebody's going to post up that down in the States they find them for like two bucks at the surplus stores. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, till next time, go outside and have fun, guys. YouTube will be here when you get back.